Hello there. <clears throat> uh, Miguel Martinez Watt is here. I almost choked when I said hello there for some reason. Uh, but it, uh, on this episode, uh, I'm going to talk about something that's been on my mind and on my chest um, to share with you all. Okay. Uh, number one is um, the idea that you cannot expect something in your life if you don't have an image of it. Okay. If you don't have an image of it. Okay. On the first page of um, Your Invisible Power by Genevieve B. Wren, she gives an explanation of the importance of visualization. She says, the exercise of visualization brings your mind in order, okay? It helps you attract everything into your life, okay? <clears throat> to through the harmonious vibrations of the law of attraction harmonious vibrations uh, that sounds like a lot but i'm gonna break it down to you okay <clears throat> um and a little bit about genevieve biren she was the only student of thomas troward uh, thomas troward wrote the edinburgh lectures on mental science on um, the dory lectures uh, um which was the other book Your hidden power, okay? These are um, well known in the uh, law of attraction community, the the mind and consciousness community. Thomas Troward. Um, so far, I think he's one of the. I think he's the best writer, in my opinion. So far, I haven't seen any other writing that's as good as his, um, because then you really understand what's going on, not only in an esoteric kind of like spiritual type of way where we can't really decipher because it's spirit. We, we're not even in there. We're, we're in the physical realm not there um but we can understand it uh, through time but he really helps understand helps us understand through a logical and um physical way right he gives so many examples that it makes us understand like oh okay <laughs> you know what i mean it's like so logical that we, we understand it. it's kind of like bob proctor um bob proctor simplified um his teachings basically simplified it, made it like so easy that even a little kid could understand. Okay, um, Bob, I miss you. And uh, <clears throat> rest in paradise. You know, he, he passed recently, very recently. Um, okay, so that's a little bit about, about Jennifer Biren and who she is and who she worked with. Okay, now <clears throat> you must exercise your, your image, right? Your visualization and your image over and over again okay but here's a little trick that you must understand you can't like constantly be thinking about it you have to let it go you have to release it into the universe let the universe work on it and you work on what you need to do do things that you love that make you stay in flow okay be entertained with going for more okay going for more um i may or may not use this video but i'm probably not going to use the video because it's kind of it's late and the video quality is not that good on, on my laptop. But my my sweater says, find endurance, go for more. Okay, it's my gym clothing brand. But it, it's a, the, it carries a principle of the universe. The universe is always growing and expanding. Everything in the world grows and expands. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so focus on going for more in your endeavors. Be it physical, spiritual, emotional, financial. Okay, relationship, love. Expand and go for more you could go for more you can always go for more that allows you to be in a state of fun challenge and growth okay that's what makes flow because it's it's fun it's still challenging you're moving forward you're making progress towards a goal okay so it's always good to have a goal that pushing you forward pushing you for more now, <clears throat> that's what it means by exercising. You want to keep exercising your visualization and you want to let it go and, can, and move toward um, your goal in a fun, relaxed, you know, um, challenging way. Okay. That's the key. And, and this is how I, I want to explain this process. 
I've visualized myself reaching 190 pounds, okay, in weight. Okay, if you if you can look at me on, on my Instagram, I'm not fat. Okay, I'm mostly muscle. I'm like 15% body fat to 20%, more more or less. Okay, right, within that range. Okay. Now, I saw the 190 in my mind before I hit 190 pounds on the scale. It was challenging, but I've always moved forward. Like, okay, what, what could I eat? How can I eat this? And I always ask questions. How can I make this tuna taste better? Because tuna you know, is high protein, low fat. How can I make this tuna taste better? I'm going to put a little bit of mayonnaise and put a little bit of um, um, corn. And then I started doing it. You know, I started eating different types of foods that were, one, healthy, but also high calorie. And kind of balancing it out. Okay. Um, and today I hit 190 pounds with my clothes on, of course. So that means I was 190 pounds, okay? I just subtract one or two pounds because your clothing adds some weight. So I'm like, I'm 190 pounds already. I'm 192 actually, more than I expected. So and what, do I, what did I do? I let it go, I released it into the universe. I worked out, I ate and focused on it and moved towards that goal. That was something I never reached before, okay? But I wasn't always thinking about it and always nervous about it, okay? Because that's when you actually don't get what you want because you're 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 not in flow. You're so tight, you're you're um resistant, okay? Because wanting is a low vibration, being anxious is a low vibration, being in flow, being happy, being um enthusiastic, enjoying yourself, being in the moment and being grateful is what's gonna get you to your goal, it's gonna get you to your to manifest what you want. Okay, before you know it, it's Boom, it's there, okay? Um, so remember, you don't need anything. You don't need the money. You don't need the skills. You don't need the people in your life. You just need to visualize. And in time, things will just roll. Come rolling into your life. You're a power center. As soon as you start vibrating, start feeling the way you feel, if you have already accomplished it, things will start coming into your life, okay? Just be cool, be relaxed, and set goals are going to help you move toward that goal every week, okay? Every week, every day, every day. A little bit, just a little step, a little step, a little step, a little step, okay, and be persistent, okay. Now, visualization keeps your mind in order because your thoughts, feelings, and actions are lined up, okay. You're thinking about it, you're feeling the way, uh, the uh, feeling the way you would feel if it's already done, you're taking some action, okay, and you're in flow, order. Because if you let other people talk to you, oh, let's go do this, let's go do that, or talk ne negative to you and you allow them to do that, you bring that, you bring all this stuff into your, in your environment and into your consciousness. And if you allow them to impact you emotionally, and I say emotionally like this, um, because uh, whatever you feel is you start attracting. So you must be calm, you must be in control of your thoughts and feelings. Okay. But if you're, Intentionally visualizing your images, feeling them, okay, and taking some taking some action to progress. You have order that is harmony, that is perfect harmony, okay. <clears throat> and in the Bible, it says, um, "The crisis within. Seek first His kingdom, and all these things will be given to you." When they say. They say that they're talking about visualizing. They're talking about going within, closing your eyes, visualizing, okay, impressing your subconscious mind, which is your heart, okay, the emotion, okay. Instead of saying heart, uh, you think think about emotions, okay. And everything will vibrate towards you. You'll attract it. Before you know it, as you take steps toward that, and you learn. The principles of that of that goal to get there it'll manifest it'll show up okay but again the exercise okay with the visualization faculty okay is what will bring order into your life the exercise that means you got to do it over and over again now you can't expect something to come into your life if you have no image of it Okay, let me say that again. 
You cannot expect something to come into your life if you don't have an image of it. Okay. Now, if you're thinking of something a lot, expect that to come into your life. Okay. So make sure you're focusing on something positive. Okay. And if you're not, force yourself. Okay. At first, you're going to have to force yourself. That's why it's good. That's what Bob Proctor taught us to say, um, do gratitude three times a day, morning, midday, and nighttime. Okay. Sometimes I just walk around and I'm like grateful for the sky. I'm, like, I'm so grateful. The sky looks so beautiful. I'm so grateful for my legs that I can walk on this beautiful grass. I'm so grateful for this grass and these trees that give give oxygen to us. Okay. Just doing it automatically. Now, what am I going to get? I'm going to get more of what I'm grateful for. Okay. More life, more things to enjoy, more things that are comforting, uh, more relaxed or make me more, make my life a little more comfortable. I'm talking about comfortable grass, oxygen. Um, okay. That's what's been on my chest. Okay. So I want to share this with you. Um, these videos you're supposed to watch and listen to and or listen to over and over and over again so that you understand this and you practice it and it changes your life and you manifest things. I just manifested the 190 pounds. Okay. And I'm fit and I'm strong and I'm healthy. Okay. And how to visualize that. Okay. And I did it by being in flow, moving toward steadily progressing toward my goal. Okay. Now I'm going to do a little overview of what I went over, went over visualizing and how it organizes your, 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 your thoughts. Okay. And your body in a harmonious way. Okay. Uh, it lines up everything, your thoughts, okay. Your feelings and your actions. Okay. Your thoughts are in your, in your conscious mind. Your feelings are in your subconscious mind. Your actions are in your body. Okay. <clears throat> uh, a good image to use is a stick person that Bob Proctor uses, okay? Bob Proctor has a stick person where he teaches you where how the subconscious and the conscious mind work, okay? And, and uh, influence your body, okay? I really recommend his um, intro program. His link is in my description below uh, if you want to um, get more material on that, okay? So repetition. Harmonize your thoughts, feelings, and actions, okay? And expect the things that you're visualizing, okay? Expect the things that you're visualizing because they're going to come, okay? And don't expect anything to come in your life if you don't have that image of it. And you have to exercise, it, okay, this visualization. Do it over and over and over again. Look at the details. Add more and more details, okay? Okay? Every time you visualize, there has to be a little bit more detail. Go deeper into um, that visualization. Okay. If you're in a home, go to a, a um, mirror. If you're in a car, touch the, the, um, the passenger seat or the horn. Okay. Something where you're actually in action within your um, visualization exercise. Okay. Make it more detailed, more and more and more and more and more and more and more, and then release it, let it go, be free of it, focus on what steps you're taking, and just be in a good uh, flow of things. Okay, have fun, make sure it's a little challenging, and you're taking steps that are helping you move a little forward every day so um, you feel good and you feel positive. Okay, hope you like this one. And again, listen to this over and over again if you want more. Um, resources, click the description below. Hope you like this. Peace.